Hello, House friends. Welcome to our training video. We're excited that you've decided to come join us here. So we hope this video is helpful for you as we prepare to launch our summer classes via Zoom. Um, I wanna just encourage you to participate and to be brave and download this app so that you can be with us this summer in terms of our HASP courses. We're here to help you. So we um, will have several resources available to you. The most important thing for you to note is that we have set up a HASP virtual classroom and you'll be able to access that at hope.edu slash virtual HASP. That's where you're gonna to wanna to go to access all of our summer programs, hope.edu slash virtual HASP. The first thing you're going to need to do is of course, as you prepare to sit down and watch this video, as well as courses, is you're gonna to wanna to be ready with your HASP coffee and your cookies. So I'm here with my coffee and my windmill cookies, ready to engage with you. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download Zoom to your device if you haven't done that already. We have sent out several links in our emails um, trying to help you do that. But otherwise, if you haven't seen those links in the email, just go to Zoom dot us slash download and you'll be able to download zoom for free onto your device whether it's your phone or your laptop or your ipad so we encourage you to do that you will be prompted to do that automatically if you try to join a HAST class this summer and don't have it yet um, but we encourage you to do it before so it's quick and easy for you to log into a HAST virtual course also, um, you will be asked if you want to set up a Zoom account, but you do not have to have a personal Zoom account to engage with HASP courses this summer. You just need Zoom on your device, but you don't have to create a personal account. If you want to, you can, but it's not necessary. I think that's it. I'm here in the HASP virtual classroom now, but it's a little lonely. So I think maybe I'll see if Scott Travis, are you out there? Can you join me? I just need something encouraging. In fact, I could use some lifelong learning. I heard there's this really cool site, hope.edu slash virtual hasp. Starting in June, included with my membership. All right. Let's check this out. Oh look, there's a virtual HASP button. I'm gonna enter. It's asking me to run Zoom, but since I've already downloaded it, I can go ahead and click open Zoom. Now it wants to know my video. There I am, join with video. And I'm waiting. I wonder if they'll let me in. While I'm waiting, I can test my speaker and microphone. My audio is coming through my speakers. My microphone is working. My video settings, I can select my camera. I think I'm ready to go. Hey, it's connecting. All right, I can join with my computer audio. Unmute myself and I am in the HASP virtual classroom. Look at this, hi Kim Mendels. Hi, Scott. Welcome. Glad how's, to see you. How's it going? Are we ready for some lifelong learning? Let's do it. All right. Are I've, you ready? I am ready. I've, I've got my cookies and my coffee. Yay! You're like a true Hasper. All right. Let's here go. We go. <laughs> well, I'm going to start by putting you in gallery view so that we can see both of us here. Um, okay. Should I give a tour? Please. Please give a tour. Hasp is ready and All waiting right. for your expertise. Awesome. Well, welcome HASP members to your virtual classroom. We're excited for you to begin learning in this new way. And our goal is to give you a tour of Zoom. So that's what we're in now. I entered the classroom uh, and I'm here with Kim and we're gonna go through and show you a couple different things. Uh, the first that I wanted to show and probably one of the most important is to know where your um, video and audio controls are. Uh, so down in the bottom here, you see mute and stop video. And so uh, a really good rule of thumb is to always mute yourself until you have something to say. That will help cut down uh, background noise uh, and make it a better experience for everyone else. So Kim, could you mute yourself while I'm talking, please? I will. Thanks. 
She's a pro. You can also stop your video. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute, mute myself by clicking the mute button. And now I'm unmuted and Kim can hear me again. Um, there's a little arrow next to the mute button that also has different settings for audio. So if your computer happens to have uh, multiple input devices on it, you can select or output devices, like if you have uh, different speakers hooked up through Bluetooth or you're using a headset, um, you may want to look at those uh, and practice those ahead of time uh, to make sure you have those right. That's the little arrow next to the mute button. Uh, the stop video works similarly. Um, if you have a profile photo or else it'll just say your name, uh, when you stop the video, you can click to start that again. Video is not required to participate in HASP courses online. Um, it's helpful for discussion, obviously, but if you have a computer without video, don't worry. You'll be able to see what else is happening in the room and participate by chat, which I'll show you in a minute, or by um, audio. There are also video settings if you click the little arrow here. Um, again, if you had multiple uh, cameras and needed to select one, most of the time you shouldn't need to go into those. So that's a little bit about your mute button and your video button. Uh, an important note is that the host, so in this case Kim, if I had my kids run around behind me or a dog barking or something like that, she can actually mute me um, as the host and then I would have to unmute myself again to participate. So if you do find that you're muted and you didn't remember doing it, um, it might have been Kim or whoever's hosting the class. Uh, the other thing that we want to show you here is uh, the, the different views. So I'm in gallery view, as I mentioned right when I joined. Um, I can use the button up here at the top to view this all in speaker view. And um, speaker view puts whoever's speaking in the forefront. Um, now this will look a little different when there's more than just two of us. And then it will put you and everyone else in a smaller window off to the side. Where gallery view, or I'll refer to that one as Brady Bunch view, puts everybody on the screen at once um, so you can see them and it's my preferred view uh, but that's up to you uh, the host isn't controlling that that's up to you when you log in you also can go full screen or exit full screen that buttons up here in the top right and those are some of the view options that you have next I'm going to show you a couple things down here while Kim's enjoying her coffee the participants panel um, you can click that to see everybody on the call and you can um, see who's muted and who's not and that kind of thing. You also can rename yourself. So sometimes I log into calls and it says that I'm my daughter or my spouse as we're all using Zoom to connect with people we love and people we're learning with. Um, and so sometimes you might have the wrong name. It, it will be very helpful to have it be your first and your last name. So you can click the more button next to your name in the participant panel and you can make sure your name is correct. The host can actually do this for, for you as well. Um, so there's rename. That's really the main purpose for the participant panel for you as a participant. So I'm gonna close that. Um, the chat panel is the main way that most classes will facilitate uh, questions and discussion. You click chat. Occasionally, depending on the device, um, you might not see participants or chat in the menu, but you will see a more icon with three little dots. That's not on my screen right now, but sometimes these options are hidden underneath that more button. Um, so if you don't see chat, look for, for more, and then it will be an option within that. Once you open the chat, you get a uh, white window that pops up here on top of your screen. The default chat is everyone. I can change it and just send the message privately. It'll pop up here to the host. So that's the chat. That's how you'll do questions. Um, you can use that for tech support if your audio is not working or your video is not working. Sometimes it's helpful to go to the chat, select the host. It'll say host next to the name of Hass Virtual Classroom and say, hey, I need some help. Uh, my, my audio is not working. Another important note is that you can control the volume depending on your device. That's not a setting that's within Zoom. So if it's too quiet, look for the volume control on your individual device, on your headset if you have a headset on your iPad, whatever it might be, um, the dial on the side of your laptop, um, the volume on the speakers next to your home computer, um, that's where you're gonna control your volume is up to you and that will vary widely depending on the setup that you have. Another important note is when you're done with your lifelong learning on the virtual classroom, you have the option to leave. Um, there's a red button here in the corner that says leave and that will begin the process of leaving the meeting. 
Uh, but before I leave the meeting, I want to turn it back over to Kim, who has a couple other announcements. Thanks so much, Scott. That was really helpful. A couple more things, HASP members, is that um, we have created a new HASP YouTube channel so that once all of our summer courses have happened, we if the presenter has given us permission to record that session, then we will um, eventually soon add that to the HASP YouTube channel so that you can tune in and watch at any time. So be aware of that. If you can't come at 9.30 or 1 o'clock on the day of the class, it will be recorded and we will download it to our HASP YouTube channel um, within a few days. Also, um, that will be available as well by going to the same site that we keep mentioning, the hope.edu slash virtual half. It's going to be very important for you this summer. It's a really easy way for you to connect and we know you'll be able to do it. If you need additional resources or help with any of this, please email us at hasp at hope.edu and we'll respond to you or get someone who can help you if you're having any issues with your personal device and accessing this at home. I think that's it. I miss you all so much and wish we could be together in person, um, but we continue to pray that you're healthy and well and staying engaged and we hope this helps you do that. Scott? Cheers to lifelong learning wherever it might happen. Hi, everyone. Stay safe and healthy, everybody. We look forward to seeing you in person soon. I'm leaving the meeting now, Kim. Okay. Bye.